quality assurance and quality control interview questions with answers so this is quick answers part 17 and before i have provided quick answers 16 videos and all the links are given in the description box so if you are new to this channel please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you will be the first to know when i upload something new also follow me on facebook instagram and twitter for latest updates now let's get started The first question, what is the difference between quality assurance QA and quality control QC in civil engineering? Quality assurance QA involves proactive process to ensure quality in the planning and design phases while QC focuses on reactive inspections and testing to verify that construction meets the required standards and specifications. Why are quality assurance QA and quality control QC important in civil engineering projects? QA and QC ensures the safety, reliability and durability of structures, help avoid costly repairs, maintain compliance with standards and regulations and enhance Client satisfaction. Next, what is quality control plan or QC plan in civil engineering? A QC plan is a document outlining the specific procedures, standards and responsibilities for quality control activities during construction to ensure that the final product meets the project requirements. What is an inspection test plan ITP? An ITP is a detailed document that outlines the inspection and testing activities along with the acceptance criteria for each stage of construction to ensure compliance with project specifications. Next question, what is non-destructive testing NDT in quality control or QC? NDT refers to testing methods that evaluate the properties of a material component or structure without causing damage. Common NDT methods include ultrasonic testing, radiography and magnetic particle testing. Next, what is a material certification in a QA or QC? A material certification is a document provided by the manufacturer that verifies the material's compliance with specified standards and requirements, ensuring its quality and suitability for use in the project. Next question. What is the role of a QC inspector in civil engineering? A quality control inspector is responsible for examining materials, workmanship and construction process, conducting tests and inspections, documenting findings and ensuring compliance with project specifications and standards. Water Common tests for concrete quality control. Common tests include slum tests for workability, compressive strength tests using cube or cylinder samples and non-destructive testing methods like ultrasonic pulse velocity. Next, what is benchmarking in quality assurance? Benchmarking involves comparing project process and performance metrics with industry best particles or standards to identify areas for improvement and ensure high quality outcomes. Next, how are defects handled in a quality control process or QC process? 
defects are identified through inspections and testing documented in a defect log and rectified according to the specified procedures follow up inspections ensure that the rectifications meet the required standards next how is iso 9001 relevant to qa or qc in civil engineering iso 9001 is a quality management system standard that provides framework for consistent quality assurance and control practices helping organizations meet regulatory requirements and enhance customer satisfaction what is the difference between preventive and corrective actions in qa and qc preventive actions aim to identify and eliminate potential causes of non conformance before they occur while corrective actions address and rectify existing non conformances to prevent recurrence what is a workability test in concrete quality control a workability test measures the ease with which concrete can be mixed placed and compacted common tests include the slum test compaction factor test and flow table test next what is a slum test a slum test is used to determine the consistency and workability of fresh concrete it involves filling a cone shaped mold with concrete lifting the mold and measuring the amount of concrete slums in substance next what is a compressive strength test a compressive strength test measures the ability of concrete or other materials to withstand axial loading it is typically performed by crossing concrete cubes or cylinders in a compression testing machine so these are the 15 questions of uh, quality control and quality assurance so i hope you found this video helpful and if you found this video helpful then don't forget to like the video share the video and if you have any query let me know in the comment section thank you for watching